Hi, I'm sitting here with you today. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, so I was hearing your panel, I understand you, you founded Axion in 2015 along with your brother because you had a belief in Africa's potential. Tell me a little bit about that. Thank you very much for having me and inviting me. We started Axion, actually it was a family legacy business. We had uh, from our late father and uh, with my uncles. And we are business. Do, we are doing textile business, and we are doing uh, car dealing and importation stuff, etc. And since the last 30 years, we decided to transform and shift totally the model on becoming one of the biggest Pan-African infrastructure and service investor on the continent. And why we did that? Because we are seeing a couple of things. First of all. Africa has a big gap in terms of infrastructure. That is the first thing. Second thing, we're seeing the demographic and the potential and need for the population to have access to classical, normal, reliable infrastructure. Communicating together, getting power easily, getting circulation of money easily and on a reliable, simple way. And access to jobs, because I know you, you a lot Absolutely. Of employees. Absolutely, we've got now 12,000 employees over 16 countries. Wow. So from that, from, from that aspect, we decided we should go big, absolutely accelerating on financial inclusion, digital inclusion, and energy inclusion. That's very well said. So you said it was a more a family business. I thought you started it with your brother. No, it was more a family business legacy that we developed now, becoming our Pan-African business. So how many different countries are you in? 16 uh, countries. 16 countries. West Africa, Central Africa, East Africa. We're in countries such as Togo, Senegal, Benin, uh, Burkina Faso, Madagascar, Tanzania, uh, pretty Uganda. Much, pretty much everywhere. That's amazing. So when people look to Africa and will probably look to you for advice, like where they should probably invest, where they should put their money in. Uh, looking at you and having the successful you know, business and idea that you've implemented, what advice would you give them? Listen, to be honest, <laughs> if the day was having 48 hours, I would be working 48 hours. Why? Because there is so much to do. Mm -hmm. So my advice would be to say, I mean, from infrastructure perspective, there are so many things to do in terms of energy production, in terms of energy distribution, about of efficiency, in terms of agro, there are so many opportunities. In the panel, you listen that there is asset class that are not discovered, such as forests, nature-based solutions are very important, telecommunication, digital transformation are just at the start. There's still a lot of potential data centers, fiber access in the cities. Just imagine. Well, I'm going to take you an example. Yeah. We're developing fiber access in Togo, in Tanzania, in Madagascar, in Senegal. But for the moment, we're just starting with the main cities. What about the smaller city? Right. I mean, potential is there. Right. And now, the regulation is totally liberalized. So you could go there, go there and start investing there. So there are many, many things to be done. But what I would advise, and that is the most important, is that as everywhere in the world, in every business, you've got a lot of challenges. Yes. In Africa, we've got our unique challenges. Regulation is a challenge. Infrastructure is a challenge. Cost of financing can be a challenge. You have all the challenge. But when you want to do things in Africa, mm -hmm. do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Don't say that, okay, we're not going to look about ESG or we're not going right. to focus about that. Do the thing the right way first. Secondly, we have the responsibility towards the population. Right. Because base of pyramid, our potential, okay, those customers are the most important for us. We must right. respect them. And third, mm -hmm. for me, what is key when we invest in Africa, we do it with the heart at the right place. Yes. It's very important. Yeah. Let's think always impact. Let's do things that we do business, we do money, we make money, but we do Im good. Impact. It's very important. I love that you said that. I love that you said, yes, there is potential, but there's also challenges, which is why events like this are important, so you can make partnerships with the right people. So, Absolutely. So the question I ask is, why do you feel like events like Unstoppable Africa are important? When, when, when you enter in a country, yeah. okay, it's very important to understand the habits, the rules, the regulation of that country. Uh, you, you, you cannot know everything. Every con country is very particular. And for me, it's as if I go in a village, I'll ask the, the authorization of the chief of the village. What do I mean by that? Is that together, working together with local people, with the local stakeholders, policy makers, uh, 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 local partners, it's very important to decode the global environment, how to do things properly. It's key for us. I mean, we entered in Tanzania two years ago. 
for us, it was a massive new country, and we didn't know anything about that country. It was very important for us to have a local partner to discuss with the policymakers, to discuss with our customers, to do focus group, and to listen what are their needs. Yes. Sometimes we see that there are a lot of, on the customer side, there are a lot of common needs yes. from the continent side. But then, in terms of policy management, etc., a lot of countries that have their own specificities. Yeah. So for us, we've got a co big culture of partnership and collaboration throughout all our countries. And I love that. And so I'm going to end this conversation talking about legacy. While you're in Africa, while you're you know doing business in Africa, for the next maybe 20, 50 years, and people look back and say, oh, you did this, what do you want people to say? What do you want your legacy to, to say? What, how you impacted Africa? I like people to say for the legacy that this guy, tried to do one very important thing. He was very careful and he was very much focused on helping, uplifting the people. It was just how we can disrupt, transform people's day-to-day -day life. Disrupt and transform. Thank you so much for being with me.